I've been an electrician for 27 years, all my life. It's the only thing I've ever done. I was up on the electrical post because we were building a new circuit and the wire that we were pulling in got tangled up with the hot wire. And it electrocuted me and it killed my buddy. I didn't even I didn't even know I got hit until they woke me up and I was laying on the I was laying on the road. It went in my left arm and it went through my heart and went out my right arm. At that point, I knew that I wasn't in very good shape. It was there, man. I mean, they told me they was gonna have to take my arms off. I told them I didn't want them to. I got kids to raise. So I woke up two, three days later and I went to grab a glass of water and I couldn't grab it. I told him I was done. But what I done was I, I made a decision. And I said, I'm gonna make this work or I'm not. And I made it work. And it wasn't for my prosthetist and everything else, it wouldn't have been working like it is now. And I made it work. The effort and the time that my friends and my family and the people up there, my prosthetists, they drove me to do what I wanted to do. I made my mind up right here. And that's where you gotta get it done first. Figure out it up here and then make this work. My first year I had problems. I wanted to do everything that I did before, but I couldn't do it. I had to take each day and work at one, one specific thing or two and just make that work. One day at a time. That's my only thing. Because I wanted to do everything that I wanted to do before I lost my arms. And so I just took one day at a time. And I, that's what I had to learn. And you got to learn that. Otherwise, it's just going to drive you crazy. You just got to learn it. My prosthetist was willing to take the time to go up there and visit with me, I'll bet you 14 times while I was in the burn center. And you, you just, you just can't, you can't understand the feeling that it gives a man the, the time that, that he took out of his own family time to do that for me. The time that he spends with me, the things that he asks me that I am doing, that I want to do, he makes it happen for me. He believes in me and he wants me to make it work. That's my biggest thing. Just understand what I want to do. My first prosthetist didn't believe in me. My the one I have now has built me up to a point where I feel like there's no end to this. I can do it all by myself. And he's made me feel so wonderful. It takes a special person to bond with an amputee that makes them feel like they are a person. They all make me feel good when I go down there. It's a family, it's a, it's a, it's a bond between everybody, not just okay. the prosthetists, it's with everybody that works there. I've worked ice storms when I went back to work and I've wore these arms for three days solid. I wear these 
when I get up in the morning at six o'clock until until probably midnight or eleven o'clock. And then I take them off and I go to bed. But I have warmed for over three days. By working my butt off, by working my limbs, by getting my arms to work, the the gratification that it got me since I've done this has been worth every step. Everything in the world is built for the human hand. I can operate a drill, skill saw, anything that you can operate with your hand, I can operate. You feel so comfortable when you walk in that place. There's other amputees that you get to visit with that make you feel real good because you get to visit with them and you get to tell everybody each other's stories. I don't need anybody to feel sorry for me. I don't want anybody to feel sorry for me because I went to Savage and they made me the person I am today. This is unlike any other prosthetic place in the world.